Hello there everyone, how are you doing? It's Thursday, almost the weekend. You can do it. Today's video, no, before we continue, cheers. I, in today's video, I would like to show you very quickly what I got today in the mail and then will be my contest entry, contest Entry video, yes, to JT's Record Room 100 subs contest. Congrats, buddy, you already done it. At the moment of filming is 138. Respect. Okay, without further ado, let's start unpacking. I got a package from Hammerheart Records. Let's see what's inside. That's big. Retract. Cheers. This fell out. Now, you see folks, that's how you ship a record. There's actually two inside. A box within a box. Pretty secure. This is the satisfying part. If it works well. All right. Works. So you will see it now, first time with me. Wehrmacht. Wehrmacht. Is that how it's pronounced? Anyway, awesome beer good time. Thrash. Thrash heavy metal. Crossover Thrash Masterpiece, finally available on vinyl again, ultra clear vinyl. I think this was limited in 100 copies. I tore the hype sticker while I was unsealing this. No, it's good. Anyway, I didn't know it, it is on uh, gatefold and what, what is nice with Hammerheart Records if you order ever from there or well, they are not placed in their sleeves in the fa uh, when they've been packing them, so, so sealing them. Usually they make pretty limited editions. Gatefold. Yeah, very good, good time, fun, good time. This band, I think. A lot of tongue-in-cheek songs. Awesome cover. This is how the clear vinyl looks. It's it's in, indeed very clear. Let's check the other one. Maybe last good look at the whole hype, hype sticker before I ruin it again. And that shrink wrap was tightly put. So, this is the cover. I used to own this original copy of it, but damn me, went and sold it. And I'm counting on kind of that they will reissue this because I'm generally happy with the reissues. Anyway, Hammerheart Records, so far I've been happy. So here's the gatefold. Yeah, beer mad. Suck my dick is one of the songs. And the label. So now that we got that out of the way, let's do JD Record Room's contest. Yeah. I really like the idea of this. Yeah, his contest rules are as follows. Show one record from six different genres. Simple, and I like it. Simple. Uh, first one being folk. I don't have a lot of folk records, uh, I noticed. I select this one, Jethro Tull Songs from the Wood. Yeah, there are room to debate. Is this a folk album? Not, not purely so, maybe, but I think it's heavily folkish. One of my favorite uh, Jethro Tull albums, Songs from the Wood. This is an Australian pressing. The last song on A side is my favorite song. Uh, ring, ring out softest bells. Always puts me in good mood. A little label accent, Chrysalis. Or, or is it said Chrysalis? Chrysalis? Don't really know. Folk record down. 
I need the refill. <coughs> Cheers. The second genre, British blues. The animals, this is a collection I bought from uh, Greece, Athens, Greece. It is, it is a Greek pressing as well. Granted, they didn't really write many songs of their own, but uh, many of the songs, uh, arguably, in their own versions, they made it somehow even better, some songs. Quick look at the track list. And the animals label, EMI. Third one, an indie band. Just because I thought I had a good, quite broad selection. So I wanna do two quick ones as a shout out to those. First one being Violet Femmes uh, debut album. And the second one is Bells and Sebastian. I think you JT also mentioned it uh, as an example. So I thought, hey, let's not, this is my favorite one of theirs. Tiger Milk, it's a reissue. Okay, so the actual indie band that I want to show is, it is Lou Barlow. Uh, Lou Barlow is the bassist of the band Dinosaur Jr. He also had a quite extensive uh, solo career. Um, and also he has another band called Sebado. Uh, yeah, this is kind of lo-fi alternative indie rock. Yeah, it's on black, black wax, those look how the labels look like. Interesting fact that this record, when I bought it new sealed, it had two of these uh, CD lyric booklets. One is inside the sleeve, but the other one I keep out just for easy access, but... Hmm. So the fourth one is any rock, pop rock album. Bangles, Eternal Flame, as it was called, yes. Everything. It's the title of the album, Everything. Eternal Flame, the number one single, Foxy Ladies, and uh, nice pop rock. This doesn't visit the turntable too often, but it's all nostalgia with this one, more or less, to me. Lyric insert. Nice. Label action. So if I recall well, the fifth option, which is, which is an old school metal band, you gave a pretty broad uh, period to choose from made it a little bit easier, so I just wanna give a, bring forth another excellent Thrash album, which was founded by three Tonys, and that would be... Whiplash! Power and Pain! Now, if you are not familiar with this band and album, I encourage you to go quickly to YouTube, pause this video if you have to, <sighs> and then return to finish it. This is... This sounds like there's an actual chainsaws in the background or, or mixed with the guitar sound. Or, or something. It, it is... <laughs> it is... It is... Sinister sounding. Granted, it is not the best of productions, but do doesn't bother me at all. My favorite, Tony Bono, Tony Saglione, and Tony Portaro. I would say er, Venom, like early Venom, but tighter. Uh, ah, interesting fact. Agnostic Front has been doing uh, backing vocals on this one. Yeah, that's another classic, uh, legendary band. The original pressing, uh, the Dutch pressing, Roadrunner Records. Killer, killer songs. Yeah, highly recommended. Any trash metal fan who hasn't listened to Whiplash, check it out. Lastly, uh, any jazz album. I decided to go choose this one. This was a long story short. I, I After my dad passed away, I went to Finland and there was a lot of stuff that he left behind, obviously. So I took most of his records. There were a lot of good stuff, and I took this just based on the cover. I didn't know, I expected this to be some kind of a, I don't know, maybe like funky music a little bit. Little did I know, this turned out to be a great jazz album. This is categorized as a contemporary jazz, post-pop, pop, hard pop, and modal. Yeah, anyway, I, I, I dig this album a lot. It has a nice gatefold. And the record sleeve is it's broken from there that much. Uh, this is a US pressing. Red records. A red red lion production. So 
those were my six records, one per genre, for your contest. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go and check JT's Record Room channel if you haven't yet and subscribe. Uh, he has very cool music. Uh, I congratulate you once again. I thank everyone who tuned in to watch my video. And uh, I wish you all a very great rest of the week and the weekend, actually. Today is Thursday, so we're almost there, folks. Maybe I will do another entry contest video entry in, during the weekend. Take care. I'm going to go start listening to Wehrmacht and then I will edit this shit into a watchable shit. Cheers, take care. Peace.